Now at 11, naive to the power of Mother Nature, people standing at the edge of a beach in Ventura thinking they're safe. They're actually in very real danger by a rogue wave. Some go running, others knocked off their feet. One man was recording on his phone as the wave hit. Oh. Video shows people literally running for their lives, the rushing water chasing people for more than a block and watch again from the first angle and you can see multiple people knocked off their feet. First responders say eight people were taken to hospitals for their injuries and this is just one part of the impact the high surf is having. Eyewitness News reporter Sophie Flay kicks off our coverage live in Oxnard with a closer look at what people are dealing with. Sophie. David, that's right. And just about an hour ago, the city of Oxnard announced that they will be closing public beaches Friday through Sunday. And you know, that sounds like a good idea because folks that have lived here for years say they've never seen waves quite like this. Uh -oh. <laughs> Shocking video shows people trying to escape this massive wave in Ventura today. Yes. Another angle catches the wave roll over seaward wall, showing some folks getting swept down the street. The waves were big. I mean, I'm a water guy. I sailed scuba dive. These were 15 plus foot yeah. waves this morning never at high tide. Like never seen them. And we've been, been here for 10 years. Nearly a dozen people saved by water rescue crews in Ventura, plus a state lifeguard scene being pulled out of the water just south of the pier. These high tides are a dream come true for surfers, but dangerous. First responders tending to an overboard fisherman in Oxnard Harbor tonight. It's very sketchy, very high waves. Emergency vehicles have been called out here multiple times throughout the day. High tides washed out the streets near the sea in Ventura County. Cars seen slowly trying to make it down Mandalay Beach Road. One man even paddleboarding with his daughter down the same street. People living here say the flooding cleared quickly but left a wet sandy mess for them to clean up as they prepare for a couple more days with a high surf advisory. This house is four feet above the right. ground. And the retaining wall. I'm about 10 <laughs> feet from the street. If water comes to me, we're in trouble. But it's up to us to be safe, to not go in the water and challenge it with like the boats and things that we have. David, you'll notice behind me that the street is clear. There's really no cars left on the street, which is a good thing because the next high tide is expected to roll in in just about 30 minutes here in Ventura County. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.